Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm here to talk about my quarterly goals. A few years ago, I started setting goals a little bit differently throughout the year by picking focuses, milestones, or just things I wanted to make sure I accomplished in that given quarter. It gave me something to really hone in on and also gave me something to focus on accomplishing in that short period of time, especially when I had annual goals that really felt like it was, it was gonna be a long time before I got to check those off. And this year I've sort of expanded it even more to just give myself more freedom and flexibility with how many quarterly goals I want, which ones are breakdowns, which ones are milestones, which ones are focuses, they're all a little bit different. And so each quarter I film a video where I share with you how my quarterly goals from the prior month went and then all of the quarterly goals or focuses I have set for the upcoming month. So let's start by talking about my Q2 goals, which ones I achieved, which ones I did not. I will say, of all of, the, all of the goals that I set for Q2, I at least made progress on all of them. I at least started, I did something related to all of the goals. I, I only completed, gave myself a check mark for about half. So let's start with the first one, which was my quarterly revenue goal for the business. I still don't know how I feel about including my revenue goal in my power sheets because the way, like where I'm breaking that down elsewhere is not anywhere to be found in my power sheets, but I like including this pink color and I like, just because my power sheets sit on my desk 24 seven, I like being able to see my, like it just remind me of that goal and how important it is having it at the top of the page. So I did not achieve my Q2 business goal. I got pretty close, but I did not accomplish it. I should not have been surprised. There's always a delay in business. The amount of time that you spend focusing on the business, marketing, sharing, all of those things, there's always a delay in what that's going to look like for revenue, at least for my business, that's how it works. I feel like every business has that delay. It's just whether it's like a week, a month, two months, or my husband's business, it's much longer than that. That said, I did not spend as much time focusing on the business in February and March as I wanted to, well, not even wanted to, like that I was before because I was focused on the wedding. And so that kind of came to fruition in April and May. Things have picked back up and I feel good about where we're at now, but overall, I didn't hit my quarterly goal. The next one on the list was to implement some plan with Lincoln systems. And I did this a little bit, I really, I, I'll talk about this more when we get to the Q3 goals. I really do feel like I may have found the project management system that works for me, which I think is the most important system that I have been struggling with since going to work for myself full time. The next quarterly focus was to make more plans with my friends here in New York City. And I feel really, I just feel really good about that one and the time I've been spending with my friends. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more when we get to one of the bottom quarterly goals about an annual goal that I am changing that really kind of shifts the priority for this one. I think I talked about that in another video, but I can't remember which one. The next quarterly focus was to get one month ahead on birthdays. So my overarching annual goal was to kind of implement birth a birthday system, if you will, where I got on top of, I don't know why, this is something I struggle with so much. I do have a lot of birthdays, a lot of gift cards that I like to send out, but I just like, this is something that I do have a hard time staying on top of. And so I wanted to implement a system. I kind of got it together in the first quarter and then I wanted in Q2 to focus on getting a month ahead. And not only did I do that, but I really figured out how to make this work for me. If you've been watching my monthly goals videos where I break these quarterly goals down on a more monthly basis, granular basis, I now split up my birthday step into two pieces. So each month I will focus on prepping all of the birthday stuff for the following month and then mailing out the birthday stuff for the current month. And that worked really well for me the last few months and will continue to be the focus for the rest of the year. The next quarterly focus was to finish our trip planning for our honeymoon, which is in July, it's next month. I cannot believe it's almost here. We're not 100% done. I gave myself the check mark for this because I feel really good about the progress that we've made. Right now, it's like we have everything that we like want to have booked, booked. Right now it's the debate of like, do there are days that there is something not planned. There's something not booked. And it's like, do we want something that day? Do we want to have the flexibility? I feel like every place we've ever traveled is different in terms of how much booking in advance you need to do, how things fill up. And so now it's just kind of that decision of, do we want to fill in some of that white space with pre-planned activities or do we just want to leave it as white space and decide what we want to do when we get there? So that's why I gave myself the check because everything that we wanted to have planned, we have planned and I'm so excited. All right, the next quarterly focus was to finish the thank you notes. And uh, if you've been watching the monthly goals video, it's not going to surprise you that this is not done. I have finally started. That's why I got a little dot because I did finally start, but I have not finished. The 
original goal, like the original mindset before I even wrote anything down about this goal was to finish it before the honeymoon. So that is still possible and you'll see that when I talk about my Q3 goals, um, but I, I did not finish it in Q2. The next quarterly focus was to get on top of some doctor's appointments and really my goal was just to get them scheduled in Q2, but I actually executed all of them in Q2 as well. So I feel really good about that one. The next one was to read three nonfiction books and I am at about one and a half of the three books I wanted to read. That I, I don't know, I, sh I struggled. The books I did pick to read were very like in depth and he heavy, not like from like a difficult stand standpoint of like what it, the topic is, but heavy from like a, it's a lot to absorb. So I have not been getting through them as quickly as I wanted to. So I got through one and a half, still progress. The next quarterly goal was related to my weight loss goal and that was to just listen to my body and I do feel like I have been doing a good job of this. I gave myself the check mark here and it's not because I've seen a massive drop in the scale in the last three months because frankly I have not. I was good up until the sh dance show at the end of April and then I kind of between travel and lots of family events and lots of other things going on. I just kind of leveled out for the, the last two months, but I feel good. Like I feel good. I feel, I feel proud of how I am going about like my day to day life as it pertains to this goal. So I did give myself a check mark for this one. The next quarterly focus was to evaluate my no BS membership, which is the weight loss program I was a part of and evaluate it in the sense that is it worth the monthly amount that I'm spending? And the answer that I discovered, I did discover that at some point during the quarter, I talked about this in a monthly goals video that the answer was no, I did want to go ahead and cancel for now. I may rejoin at some point later in the future, who knows, but for now I am planning to cancel. Um, I did not give myself the check mark because I didn't finish fully canceling yet. I still have a little bit of time. I was always charged on the 15th of the month. That just happens to be when I signed up. And so I, I didn't get it done by June 15th. And so I was like, I really have till July 15th. It's still on my June action items that I'm hopefully going to get to it by the end of June. But if I don't, I will get to it by the end of July, but I did make a decision. So I feel good about that. The last quarterly focus was to evaluate three bucket list items on my New York City bucket list. And I put a check mark here, even though I really technically didn't do three of the items from my New York City bucket list, but what I did decide and realize in Q2, and I, I am pretty sure I talked about this somewhere, but I can't remember, and it really is applicable to this video, so I'm gonna talk about it here. And that is that I decided that New York City bucket list was not that important. I made a list of like restaurants and museums and shows and like, attractions that I wanted to go see in New York City. And while I do want to see those things eventually in my life, and while it would be easier to see those things while we still live here, those are not the most important things. A lot of those things aren't going anywhere. What is going somewhere is me. And if you didn't see the announcement that I made on Instagram or I talked about it in a live, we have announced that we are officially moving to Chicago in February of 2023. And that is so soon, it is so soon. And what I realized, I'm gonna try not to get emotional. What I realized was that the most important thing about checking off New York City bucket list things was actually to just spend time with the people that I love here in New York City, while it is that much easier to see them in person on a regular basis. And so if that means we do some of those bucket list items, awesome. But this mindset that I had that I wanted to go do all those bucket list items with Sam, just did, it, it didn't make any sense anymore. And so I have basically crossed that annual goal off my list, like the New York City bucket list items, because those things are not as important as spending time with my New York City friends. And there are only so many hours in a day. And so that has become, I kind of, I kind of merged those two goals together, right? I had an annual goal of spending time with friends and family and my New York City bucket list, kind of just merged them into one annual goal of spending time with my New York City friends and just letting go of that like really specific New York City bucket list. So that is how Q2 ended up. Honestly, with all the other commitments that we had going on in Q2, an international trip, two weddings, two graduations, I feel really good about the goal progress that I made in Q2. But let's talk about Q3. I ended up with the same number. I have 11 quarterly milestones, focuses, whatever you wanna call them for Q3 as well kind of dispersed throughout all of my different goals and then kind of a new catch-all category at the end, which we'll get to. So the first one is the same as it's been every quarter and that is to hit my plan with like in revenue goal. The thing I'm struggling with here is do I change it? Because I didn't hit my Q2 goal, but I was over a little bit in Q1, 
if I still want to hit my annual goal, my Q3 goal needs to be adjusted slightly. And what I haven't decided yet is what that's going to be. So I put it down as a goal, but as of the filming of this video, I haven't quite decided what that goal, that number goal actually is. The next quarterly focus is to implement and get comfortable with the HB90 system. And if you don't know what that is, it is a project planning, goal focused, like there's so many different ways to describe it, planning system created by Sarah, who has a YouTube channel called Heart Breathings. And she is an author and she created this project planning system to help her achieve her goals as an author. And now she shows in her YouTube videos how she applies that system to both her YouTube channel planner business that she has created with HB90, as well as her personal goals. I have been intrigued for a while. I, if you follow me, you know how much I love Cindy and her channel, and she has been talking about HB90 for a while now, since sometime last year, and I kind of started to dip my toes in it a little bit, and then really in Q2, kind of behind the scenes, really started to dig deep. I shared a couple things here and there on Instagram, a couple things in a live, and a couple things with the Patreon community, but I haven't really talked about it concretely anywhere because frankly, I'm not comfortable with it yet and I'm not ready to share kind of my process because my process changes all the time. So what I want to do with Q3 is really get comfortable with the system and using it on a regular basis. For now, I'm just planning to use it for my business goals. It seems to be working for me that way. I've tweaked a couple of things from her system to make it work even better for me, which I know she encourages people to do. And so I'm really going to dig deep and focus on that in Q3 as my like overarching business systems goal. The next quarterly focus we kind of already talked about, but that was really to prioritize time with friends. So it's almost like the, I'm the yes person. Like when a friend asks me, do you want to do this? If, if I'm free, the answer is yes. And I really want to make sure that I am spending as much time as I can with my New York City friends while I still live here. The next quarterly focus is just to continue on the birthday system. Same thing as I was doing before. So likely every month you're going to see the exact same action items. It's going to be mail the current month and prep for the following month. The next quarterly focus is the last piece of our honeymoon trip, right? So all the way up until this year, we or this quarter, we've been planning for the trip. And now we're actually executing on the trip in July and July slash August. And so what I really want to do in Q3, and that will be the end, then that, that goal will fall off, is focus on honeymoon memories and documenting our honeymoon in a way that works best for us. And then like how I'm going to replicate that. I don't know what, I don't know yet. I have not figured that out yet. I haven't broken down my goals as of the filming of this video. I've just, um, I've broken them down enough to do my July action steps, but that goal definitely needs a little bit more attention. But I know the majority of that likely won't come until we get back from our honeymoon. So I'm not, not worried about it. So the next quarterly focus is related to the annual goal of preparing to start a family and that is to start the name change process. I was waiting until after our honeymoon to do this because I didn't want, I booked the flights in my maiden name and I didn't want to have to have either risk not getting my new passport here in time, get my new passport, but then also need to take the marriage certificate, the airport, all the things. I just, I didn't want to deal with it. So when we get back from our honeymoon, then I will start that process. So you won't see any action steps related to this in July when that video comes out, because I'm not going to start it until August, but that is a focus for Q3. I did not write like finish. I mean, I wrote change name. In an ideal world, I'm going to finish it, but I likely know, and some of you are probably screaming at me, like there's no way that if I don't start it until like the beginning of August that I'm going to finish it by the end of September. I get it but I'm gonna start the process at least. The next quarterly focus is also related to the prepare to start a family goal, and that is to start tracking some things. I am not going to elaborate on this. This is not something that I am going to like necessarily talk about a lot on, on my channel and on social media, but I am gonna start tracking some things related to preparing to start a family. The next quarterly focus is the lose weight goal, and I just wrote continue to lose weight. There isn't really anything I wanna change up about what I'm doing in Q3, what I'm doing for me, the pace I'm going, the way that I feel, the way that it is integrated into my life feels good to me. So I just want to continue that process. All right. So the last three quarterly focuses here are kind of, they can apply to a lot of the different goals. They can apply to a lot of different things, um, or they don't reply to any of them. It's a kind of a little bit of both. So what I decided to do was take the color that I originally assigned to the New York City bucket list, which was that purple color, and just use that as kind of a catch-all category for these three other things that I have decided are important to me that I want to focus on in Q3. So the first one here is digital declutter, which I did talk about a little bit in Q2 and kind of dip my toes a little bit into those action steps in Q2, but I really want to prioritize it and hopefully finish it and check it off at the end of 
Q3. Um, and by check it off, I mean do a, I, I realized I needed to do it in two pieces. There needed to be a deep dive, like overhaul to get ready. And then a, what's the maintenance plan? I tried at the beginning of the year to just do like a maintenance without doing a overhaul first and that didn't work. So that is what I'm focused on. Again, that could, it applies to the business. It applies to my personal life. It applies to a lot of different areas of life. So I just gave it a catch-all color. The next one is to limit time on social media. And same thing here. This could apply to a lot of different goals. And something I also started in Q2 and just want to continue to carry on into Q3 and feel good about where I'm at with the time I'm spending daily on social media. Really mostly Instagram. And then the last quarterly focus, again a catch-all, is routines. That's all I wrote was just routines. Really, I want to put my routines back on my tending list. There are just some routines, and mostly it's my AM and PM routine, that I have lost sight of the mentality, and I, I know, I say, I say this, and I'm not always great about doing it, that it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Like, it doesn't have to be I do my whole morning routine, I do none of my morning routine. It can be that I do one or two steps or even half, and I still get credit for it. And so by putting it on my tending list and getting a check mark, even if I don't do the whole thing, even if I just do part of it, that is kind of what I want to get refocused on in Q3. Also, because we are going on this really long trip, I wanted to kind of also give myself that extra motivation when we come back from the trip to get started with my routines. Again, not in full, small steps, baby steps, and but really still prioritizing them because I know that when I do my routines, even part of them, it makes such a difference on so many areas. Like really every other one of my major goals benefits from me doing my routines and being on top of my routines. And so that is why I'm going to prioritize them and I want to make sure that I am just reminding myself in Q3 that like doing my routine doesn't have to mean doing every single step. I know I say that to a lot of you all the time and so I am I'm saying it to myself and am going to practice what I preach in Q3. So that is it. Those are all of my Q3 goals. I hope that you found this video helpful and the July video will be coming very soon and all of the other monthly goal videos to follow where you will see how I break these goals down and implement them on a regular basis. If you are struggling with this, kind of figuring out what you want your focuses to be, come join us over in the Patreon community. This video goes up, I realize the quarter has already started, but if you are still like, I don't know what I wanna do for the quarter, I want you to join Patreon and I want you to watch the replay of the quarterly, the quarterly goal session. We do an annual goal refresh, a quarterly goal refresh, a quarterly goal breakdown, and then set up the next month. It is not too late to watch that replay and really benefit from it to see progress on the second half of the year. So I will leave all that information as always linked down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. No spam, you are not, I'm not answering. The next monthly action item was related to my weight loss goal, not monthly, like it's wrong. What I realized with that was, I caught, I, let me try that again. Let me try this once again.